Amazing video as always. If you want to make a Roblox game only randomly generated, like if it's the droppers make the obstacles random or something. Huh? Nice idea, but I'm probably not gonna do that. And, uh, oh, uh, oh, no. If we're gonna make a randomly generated game, we're gonna think of two things. Random and generated. Oh wait, that's literally the point of the entire topic. So the first thing I did on Roblox Studio is to make a model. Not this model, but this model. So basically the plan is, is that we're gonna duplicate the exact replica of the platform and then put it right over here. So that the entire game is a continuous loop. And then once a player jumps to the plat- Oh, wait. And then once a player jumps to the other platform, then this platform will disappear. I am such a genius. Now that we got our plan set up, it is time to code and create. Just exactly like I did with my plan, I made a code that creates the exact clone of a model. And I made a very cool fade in which I didn't even know that I can even code this. Now we got the main code done, we need to turn this into an entire game. Alright, I am still in the studio and uh, don't worry about my friend named Bob, um, he is, um, he, he's my friend now basically. But right now, we gotta test to see if this works, so let's go ahead and run the script. Alright, uh, I, I, don't, I don't think it's uh, working, oh uh, wait, give me a second chat. Oh! Oh! Wait, you guys saw that! Oh, oh, wait, it's working. No way. No. Oh! Sorry, I I'm just excited about my work. You you'll get used to it um, eventually. Afterwards, I decided to make the model as big as, uh, as, um, uh, the, the, the earth. Afterwards, I began to decorate the ground. I wanted the ground to look very cartoony and very simple, which is exactly what I was going for in this video. Then afterwards, I found this camera thing, which I think it looks cool, but sadly, I found this in a toolbox. I didn't make it myself. And in case if you guys did not notice, I added some highlight to it, so it looks more cartoony, basically, like I said a couple seconds ago. So now, all we need to do is have a topic for the entire game. Today's the next day, and guys, I feel like giving up on the game, but I have to remember what Rosa Parks always says. No. So I made this very, very cool timer that is in the top middle of the entire screen. And I also added a very, very cool button, which is entirely, entirely, entirely right there in your face and in the entire- Actually, never mind. I'm gonna replace the button with this. Then afterwards, I made a code that spreads these blocks around the map. Which will look something like this once you play the game. You don't do anything yet to collect them, but it's, it's just cool right now. And after a few scripting attempts, once you join the game, there's gonna be random blocks around the map, and you have to collect all of them in a matter of seconds. And once you collect all the blocks, it will make a brand new world, and... Uh, wait, that's not supposed to happen. Uh, Alright, so I did fix the game, so once you collect all the blocks, it'll teleport you to a different world. And you can see that I'm getting all the blocks in time, so that's, um, amazing. I might do a second attempt on this challenge to see if I can make a game as two times as better than this. 